Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I'm so excited because today, today, I'm going to tour Fidum. Fidum is the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Fidum is pretty much a fashion school. It's located in downtown LA. Um, there are other fashion schools also located in LA. Just Fidum is one of the more, I would say, well-known. Kind of like Yale, Harvard of the fashion school world. Um, most of the schools are in New York, so Fidum was actually one of the few compared to the other colleges around that really stood out to me and so today I'm going to be touring their college and their college campus and seeing you know if I really want to go with FITM for those of you who are not up to speed I pretty much put a put in a leave of absence from Cal State San Bernardino of March of 2021 and I have not been back since honestly I might transfer from San Bernardino to FITM I might just go back to San Regino when I want to or I just might not. My main focus and my priority is expanding myself in my fashion career and just really going for it and not being afraid, being a trailblazer and just honestly breaking away from the crowd. I'm going to be touring FITM and I'm so excited. It's a prestigious fashion school. I've seen so many YouTube videos that talks about FITM and everyone's like, oh, I went on the tour and I already knew immediately. And so for me, and I am a minority and you know, I don't really have 30k in my back pocket to just attend school like that so i'm taking this very seriously and i'm trying to see if it really is a good investment for me and so that's ultimately what it's going to come down to i already have a backup plan lined up i registered at mount sac so i'm a student already at mount sac i just have to register for classes and i'm pretty much ready to start literally tomorrow um everything happens so divinely so perfect um not perfect because I don't want to use perfect because perfect is not the word I'm looking for. Everything just happens in the right time, tiny. Yesterday I just finished my orientation and then I so happened to check that. I thought classes were already in session for like two weeks. They literally just started yesterday so I could not be more on time than that. And so right now I'm chilling. I'm waiting for my appointment. Starts at 11. I'm in downtown LA. I'm obviously in LA, different location, there's a helicopter, you're probably gonna hear sirens because it's LA. I don't really have any expectations going into this tour. I do have a bunch of questions that I'm going to ask. Regardless of what happens today, regardless if I decide to go with Fidum or not, um, I'm just overall excited to take this step forward in my career, my fashion career. I've always loved fashion and I feel like even though it's taking me this long to realize that or this long to realize that, um, I'm so excited and I just want to bring you, all of you along who are interested in this journey, who are interested in probably maybe doing the same thing as me. You know, you don't have to go to the best school in the world. You can learn on your own and you know, for me, I tried doing that for a little bit. It was very, very difficult. I feel like I would thrive better in a classroom setting just because you, there's things that you could learn on your own, but I feel like when it comes to fashion, I really want that industry help or that experience to help me because I don't really know what the I'm doing so I need that help. But I'm trying to see what makes Fitum stand out and if it's really worth the 30K investment to go x amount of years so we better see we better see which is the best move and yeah i have pi right with me today and she's gonna help me with manifesting and with staying my cool i'm gonna be on my a game i'm gonna be you know i'm gonna be here i'm gonna, i didn't come to play okay i came here to win to slay and to just boom you know first even though it's like a tour i just want to put myself in that environment and put myself in a headspace of this is really happening and i'm so excited because i feel like magic was the first step like the first baby step and i feel like fashion school regardless if it's at a private school or a community college or on my own it is the second step that I need to take in this career. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to bring y'all along this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey of life, my life. And then after, I'll try to share my thoughts afterwards. So, bye.
come back from the tour go ahead and explain to you what I did so I got there and when you first get there the parking is in the parking structure and there's three different levels and that's about it parking um once you park your car you walk and you take the elevators you take the elevators up and you get to the main floor and honestly I vlogged as I just like cut on my phone but also still trying to be engaged and stuff and whatnot there's someone sitting right there I think a security guard or a reception or maybe both he asked me where I was going who I was seeing and I told him and then he gave me this wristband took my temperature and then he told me where to go so I went to the second floor and then I was there waiting while I was waiting I did grab a magazine this is their latest I just know it's the students run it but yeah so I was just sitting there was waiting it was very cool um honestly I thought it would be more of a wow factor you know obviously having such a high tuition price i thought it would look you know nicer or more lively i guess you can say like i just really was feeling the vibe just sitting there i was like okay like this is really not i'm not liking it so far to be honest and so after i'm sitting there there's this girl she was finishing up a tour and then the lady that was in contact also known as the advisor which is the way that they do it the advisor is someone that you contact if you have any questions in regards to going to school there and they arrange the tours and whatnot and then they help you throughout your whole process and time there and then so the advisor came up to me and she said oh you know this is you like nice to meet you blah 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 we're gonna go on a tour and then we went on the tour there's five floors the first floor is like the main floor the second floor is the administration offices all that stuff and then all the other floors all the other majors also have another building which i didn't even know they had another building but they did have another building and that was pointing to me out on the tour um it's very accessible you can take the stairs or escalator honestly overall i feel like for the amount that you're paying i just don't think it's worth the 30k to invest and put myself into debt and collect all these loans and work super super hard for I don't know. I just didn't like it. <laughs> I just straight up didn't like it. Like, they had a wall where they had different fabrics and they had all this cool stuff, you know, about these collections of these magazines and I would ask I, would, I kept asking the tour guide a bunch of questions and she kept replying to me that she didn't really know the answers to and I kind of figured, you know, someone that is paying that much money should know where their money is going and so that kind of raised a couple red flags for me literally every single question i asked her she had no clue as to what the answer or response would be and so that kind of just made me be like okay all right and then they had the their library is so small cal state san bernardino's library is way bigger so much more information and like i said i just feel like for the price you're not i feel like it's not really worth it i mean they do have like a section where you can take samples of the fabrics but when it comes to materials and stuff i don't think they really provide you with um with everything but she was saying it was included and it does honestly depend on your major once we got to the end of the tour i literally said that's it <laughs> Yeah, they do have a second building it's down the street more so after my tour i was waiting for the lady to talk to you know if i had any questions and you know i had so many questions but just being there and seeing everything and like really understanding like, after you graduate they say you can come back and get help but like the resources that are open to you as a student aren't as available when you're a graduate so she was saying like they have a book of trends that you can use as a student but once you graduate and you can't use that because it's top secret and they don't want people you know stealing the things and i just that doesn't make sense to me because i feel like the school regardless after you graduate sh should still try to help you that's kind of what my experience was so after you know after my tour i was waiting to talk to my advisor she was like okay you ready to come and then so we walked in the room and we were just talking about questions and the majors and then yeah so just being in there like i said i had so many questions i was so eager and so excited as you guys could tell but just being there and seeing everything and honestly the few interactions i had just really confirmed and really told me like no this is not it for you like this is not for everyone and a lot of the things that she was talking about in the tour i kind of learned already on my own and you know a lot of the opportunities that they've gotten was through on their own the school didn't really do them and i know the school says that but a lot of what i saw in person was more so like hey you know this is our work and this it i didn't really think that it was very i just i don't know i just feel like for the prize i was expecting 
something different i just feel like if i walked into a community college it probably would be the same thing so my battery is dying we can talk about this another time later on so yes peace we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time mm -hmm.